Hello, my dear friend. How do you feel today? That's good. My name is Alexandra Vitalievna, and today I will be your English teacher. For our today's English lesson, you will need our English 10 students book. You can see it on the screen. Let's start the lesson. Stop the video for four minutes. Look at the pictures and say what they can be connected with. Let's check the possible answers. Picture number one, protecting the nature. Picture two is about helping animals. Picture three is about helping the elderly people. Picture four, activity camps. Picture five, some educational trips. Picture six is about volunteerism or being a volunteer. So all these things are the forms of social activism. As you might have guessed, the topic of our today's lesson, lesson seven, is called We Can Make a Better World. Listen to the poem and follow the text. Unit nine, lesson seven, exercise 1A. Sometimes just a smile on your face can help to make this world a better place. Stand up for the things that are right. Try to talk things out instead of fight. Lend a hand when you can. Get involved. This is good. You can help to make a difference in your neighborhood. Stop the video for four minutes and say how the poem is related to the title of our today's lesson. We can make a better world. Stop the video and answer the question. How do you understand the expressions lend a hand, get involved, and talk things out? Let's check the answers. To lend a hand means to help somebody. To get involved is to take part in an activity or event or be connected with it in some way. To talk things out means to discuss something thoroughly in order to solve a problem or reach a conclusion. Stop the video and answer the following questions. 1. Are you an active person? If your answer is yes, what kind of activities do you prefer? If your answer is no, what do you usually do in your free time? Number two, have you ever been involved in social work? For example, helping the elderly people, protecting nature, animals, etc. Stop the video for eight minutes. Read the text and say which projects all these young people have been involved in. Let's check the answers. Sophia created the seedling project that is built around an edible garden. She created an online forum for sharing gardening and nutrition projects and organized cooking classes. Jackson founded Dream of a Better World, a nonprofit group which helped to raise money for children in need. Zachary co-founded special needs athletic and awareness programs 
to improve the athletic and social abilities of special needs children. Darius Wins filmed the documentary about his disease, muscular dystrophy, DMD, to raise people's awareness. He also motivates and inspires young people and writes music. Ashley Funk founded Pollution Patrol, volunteers at the local care home, and has done extensive research into some environmental problems. Stop the video for eight minutes. Read the text once again and say which story impressed you the most and why. Stop the video for five minutes and say which project seems to be most appealing to you and what you can do to start a similar project in your area. Listen to Ashley Funk speaking about her work and say what her goal is, what she has done to speed up positive changes. Unit 9, Lesson 7, Exercise 3 My story takes place in my hometown, an old mining community in Pennsylvania. I love my community and my state and want my leaders to recognize the environmental destruction caused by coal mining and the effects on human health. I did a lot of research into environmental effects of different types of pollutants in our environment, including the larger scale pollutants, such as greenhouse gases, and so I kind of started exploring all these different things related to climate change. I kind of stumbled upon the work of James Hansen because I was involved with an online community through NASA and started graphs and reports about how much the climate was changing and how little was being done about it. My community gets its energy from coal plants and residents suffer from the effects of extraction. Everything I learned led me to want to do something about the climate change. I walk a lot in my small community and once, when I was out taking photographs, I noticed an absurd amount of litter in the water and along the side of the road. And I kept thinking to myself, it wouldn't take that long to clean this up. Just a small group of people together could make the entire area better and improve and help our community as well as the environment. So I called my friend and we decided to start the pollution patrol. From there I went to my township and a bar meeting and presented the idea and asked if we could be the clean-up crew and promote environmental stewardship. We became the first Adobe community in Westmoreland County. It's always worth starting with something small, even if you think about serious environmental improvement. Let's check the answers. Ashley Fung's goal is to make people recognize the environmental destruction caused by coal mining and the effects on human health. What she has done to speed up positive changes. She did a lot of research into environmental effects of different types of pollutants in our environment, including the larger scale pollutants such as greenhouse gases, and she started exploring all these different things related to climate change. Listen to Ashley Funk again and say what her cleanup crew is involved in. Unit 9, Lesson 7, Exercise 3. My story takes place in my hometown, an old mining community in Pennsylvania. I love my community and my state and want my leaders to recognize the environmental destruction caused by coal mining 
and the effects on human health. I did a lot of research into environmental effects of different types of pollutants in our environment, including the larger scale pollutants, such as greenhouse gases, and so I kind of started exploring all these different things related to climate change. I kind of stumbled upon the work of James Hansen, because I was involved with an online community through NASA and started graphs and reports about how much the climate was changing and how little was being done about it. My community gets its energy from coal plants and residents suffer from the effects of extraction. Everything I learned led me to want to do something about the climate change. I walk a lot in my small community and once, when I was out taking photographs, I noticed an absurd amount of litter in the water and along the side of the road. And I kept thinking to myself, it wouldn't take that long to clean this up. Just a small group of people together could make the entire area better and improve and help our community as well as the environment. So I called my friend and we decided to start the pollution patrol. From there I went to my township and a bar meeting and presented the idea and asked if we could be the clean-up crew and promote environmental stewardship. We became the first adopt community in Westmoreland County. It's always worth starting with something small, even if you think about serious environmental improvement. Let's check the answers. Ashley Funk's crew meet and present their ideas of how they can make the entire area and environment better. They promote environmental stewardship and clean up litter in the water and along the side of the road. Stop the video for five minutes and recollect your experience in making the neighborhood cleaner. Did you do it voluntary or someone asked you? Stop the video for five minutes and say what useful public activities you would like to be engaged in. Say why these activities are important and what you can do to implement the activities. Stop the video for 10 minutes and write a paragraph on why young people should actively participate in community life. Stop the video and share your impressions. Did you like our today's lesson? What was easy for you and what was difficult? What did you learn today? Thank you for the lesson. Have a nice day. Goodbye.